John Shaneholz, pioneer field agronomist in Northern Ohio. I want to take a couple of minutes to address some frequently asked questions regarding the cool temperatures and potential frost for later this week and the upcoming weekend. I want to talk about growing crops, planting crops, and plants that, and crops that may be planted in the next several days. We'll start with growing crops of most concern winter wheat. Winter wheat in Northern Ohio is between feek six, which is when the first node is visible above the soil surface, and feek seven, which is when the second node is visible above the soil surface. At feek six, 24 degrees or lower is the threshold at which wheat may sustain injury to the growing point. A little bit later at the boot stage, 28 degrees becomes that threshold. So some temperature in those mid 20s is where our wheat crop will be sensitive to damage at this point. If the temperatures are below 28 degrees, it may be necessary to check some of the earliest, most developed fields for injury after that frost event occurs. Now there are also some soybeans that have emerged in Northern Ohio. Soybeans can also be sensitive to frost because all of the growing points of a soybean are above the soil surface after emergence. Now there are multiple growing points on a soybean plant and all of these would need to be killed by the frost in order for stand loss to occur. Very little, if any, corn will be emerged by this weekend in Northern Ohio. Corn has a growing point that remains about three quarters of an inch below the soil surface until the corn is about six inches tall. So any frost risk on emerged corn will be very small. In order to check for frost damage on any of these crops, it's important to wait for several days of regrowth before making those assessments. On the topic of planted crops, most of the corn and soybeans planted in northern Ohio were planted in pretty ideal soil conditions over the last one and a half weeks. Soil temperatures were warm, above 50 degrees. Soil moisture was adequate to begin germination, but not excessive to limit compaction. And we have not received a heavy cold rain to cause crusting issues or inhibitional chilling concerns. Now with the cold temperatures ahead, development and emergence of these early planted crops will be slow but will resume with warmer temperatures ahead. While evaluating these early planted fields, have patience and know that it takes heat units for emergence to occur. Corn germination typically occurs around 110 or 120 accumulated heat units. Soybean emergence is much more variable, but somewhere in that 90 to 100 range is typical. Finally, on the topic of corn and soybean plantings that will occur this week as temperatures cool. We know that the ideal soil conditions for planting are temperatures that are greater than 50 degrees and soils that are not too wet in order to cause compaction. Now, planting can continue even as temperatures cool, but the risks do increase. The risks become especially great when planting into poorly drained fields or planting prior to a heavy cold rain event that leads to inhibitional chilling. Now, in much of Northern Ohio, soil conditions as far as moisture are ideal and there are no cold rains in the forecast, which lessens the risk of inhibitional chilling planting this week. Temperatures will still be cool, which will challenge early growth. So when planting corn, plant hybrids with proven stress emergence scores to take advantage of the warmer temperatures later on. Soybeans are also a good choice to plant when soil temperatures are not as ideal because they are more tolerant of fluctuations in temperature than our corn. If you have questions on the hybrids that you're planning to plant or the stress emergence scores or any other details on the topics of this video, talk to your local Pioneer sales representative. Thanks for watching and stay safe this spring. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.